2000 Toyota Corolla XSB. And I don't think I've actually worked on one of these models, or maybe I did and it was just not the XSB model. XSB Corolla, little tiny hatchback. Yeah, I don't always pay attention to the body styles of all the cars or anything because I'm usually focused with no front end and no fenders on and everything taken apart. So I always know my cars, what they look like under, but not on the outside. Uh, this one right here, as you can see, the condenser is not really horribly damaged, but it is warped. If you look at it, it's pushing back way back there. It starts over here, but it doesn't go straight. You can see it's about nine inches pushed back that way. Tilted, tilted like this instead of like this it should push back on this corner. So this whole front end's getting torn down, replaced, replaced underneath, under there, replaced all the sheet metal and everything down there is all shoved back. Uh, I didn't get to see how the lines on the hood are and everything like that. Um, so that's this, oh, interesting conversation. Uh, so one of the gentlemen, uh, one of the service writers wanted to know some of the, how the charges work they were confused because the the item in uh, discussion was charging for recovery and the refrigerant the price compared to the price of the recharge and why is the price because it was a can't remember what vehicle it was but the vehicle on the invoice had 1.873 pounds of yf refrigerant and we know the yf refrigerant here i'm $207.66 a pound for YF refrigerant. And as you can see, I'm recovering YF refrigerant right there out of this vehicle. Uh, from the mindset of a simple person who doesn't run a business, they go, well, you're pulling out the refrigerant. Why are you charging me to put it back in again when you come back to recharge it? Don't you just pull it out and then just put it right back in? Go, no, there's a process involved there. Not only are you paying for the labor for somebody to actually pull out the refrigerant from the system, well now that refrigerant that has whatever kind of oil, because remember, all the different YF refrigerants, there's many different types of oil. There's moisture contamination in the system, there's air contamination in the system, and there's different oils. And if you pull it out of a burnt out compressor system, you have sludge, metal flake debris, and burnt oil all inside this tank. So this is a contaminated tank that's a mixture of everybody's refrigerant. It just doesn't go out of the car and you come back a week later, it's time to recharge it, it goes right back in. This gets sent off to whether you're doing it or somebody else is doing it. This refrigerant has to be sent off and go through the recycling process. That costs money. You got 8,000, 15,000, or if you bought one of those snap-on machines, $22,000 for a recycling recharge recovery unit or you take it to one of the cylinder exchange places at a commercial place and they take your cylinder refrigerant and they usually give you back a free one uh, they might do a six dollar charge just for a paperwork processing fee, fee but there's money involved the money to transfer this cylinder to go get recycled and that's a whole nother ball of wax. So then this refrigerant goes through the recycling process, goes into a clean cylinder. Now, those 20 or 30 cars of refrigerant is all cleaned and put into a cylinder. Now it could be resold. No, you don't get it back for free now because somebody had to pay to do all that. You're just paying for this process right here. This process is recovery. That's all you're paying for. The physical labor to recover not the labor to go recycle this, not for the cost and the depreciation of the machine and the building that it's retained in and everything like that. You're only paying for this process. Now this will get worked on for the next few days. The parts are here and I'll be back in three or four days. This will all be straightened. Now the 1.4 hours for recharge will be used towards the second process of refilling the system a few days later two totally separate charges. This one is strictly for the EPA only. This never had to be done before. When I entered this game years ago, we used to bleed all the refrigerant off to the air, R12. We used to, you'd crack a line, bleed it off to the air, 
or you get a hose, you drop it into a bucket with some rags and you just slowly open it up until it bleeded down all the refrigerant. This is how you used to do it. This expenditure of having to do this, both in time, money and equipment and training and technician's time, that is an extra charge procedure. That is how that's done. Uh, now, where you can put in that 1.4 hours, when you have an automated machine, or if you're right here, where you can conclude it all, all together, because you can do it fast, because you're not connecting and disconnecting and coming back a second time and connecting again, going and getting your equipment, is when a system comes in for a normal maintenance, this is different, a maintenance service, preventive maintenance recharge. So the car is six years old, eight years old, and the customer either feels that it's due for it, they don't want to risk it, or maybe they notice it's not as cool. Now you could charge that 1.4 book time, if that's how you want to do it. I just have a round figure that's based off that. Now you could do that, and you hook up your machine, and you recover the refrigerant, you're still all hooked up, and then you turn on the vacuum, because you're finished with your recovery. You never disconnected everything. You're still in the same position. Your equipment is still there. And now you go through the vacuum and now you charge it up without having going through two processes or disconnecting and reconnecting. Now you can do all in one procedure, recovery, evacuate and recharge. It hasn't been separated up into two different days, like a repair. A repair is it's damaged, but it's full of refrigerant. So now you need labor to recover the refrigerant. Come back, disconnect, come back several days later, systems together. Now, a second process of hooking back up the equipment a second time and going through the process of evacuate and recharge. Set two different separate operations, two different separate charges. Hope somebody learned something. See you later. Any questions, ask questions in the comments.